With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello guys. So today's question is: A diatomic gas of molecular mass 40 gram per mole is filled in rigid container at temperature 30 degrees Celsius. It is moving with velocity 200 meter per second. If it is suddenly stopped, the rise in temperature of the gas is. Now, so guys, in this question, it is saying that we have been given a container in which n moles of gas are there, and it is moving with a speed of 200 meter per second. Now, if it is suddenly stopped, then we have to find what is rise in temperature. Rise in temperature. Temperature. Now, see, guys, if we have been given that n moles are there then total mass of the gas will be number of moles into molecular mass that is 40 so it will be 40 n and we know that since it was moving so from here we can say that kinetic energy is converted into internal energy of the gas when it stops internal energy of gas Now what is kinetic energy? It is half m v square half m that is forty n. Since it is in gram, we have to firstly convert it in kg. So it will be ten into minus three to v square that is two hundred whole square. Now we know that internal energy of a gas is given by f by two f by two n r t f by two n r Now see guys, we know that for diatomic gas, degree of freedom that is F value is five, so it will be twenty n into ten to the power minus three into four zero 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 is equal to five by two into n into r into t. Since this energy, kinetic energy, will be converted into the internal energy. So it will be delta T here. So it will be T final minus T initial here. So from here, n and n will cancel. So it comes out to be twenty into ten to the power minus three into forty thousand is equal to five by two into R into T final. So this is delta T basically. So it will be delta T. So solving here, what will we get? We will get it as since this is ten to the power minus three, so it will become twenty into forty into two by five into one by r. So this comes out to be delta T. So solving this, what will we get? We will get twenty into forty into two. That is sixteen hundred. Divided by five r is equal to delta t. This is the word delta t. So from here delta t comes out to be three twenty by r Kelvin. Now see guys, we know that change in Kelvin temperature is equal to change in degree Celsius temperature. So from here, since this is change temperature, we can say that delta t is also equal to three twenty by r degree Celsius. So correct option is option B. Thank you, guys. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.